Taku and today I'm going to be trying little Japanese snacks. Um, not all of them are Japanese, most of them are, um, either because I got them from a Japanese person or I, and they told me that they got it from Japan, or I got them at an Asian food store. Um, but they're all Asian inspired drink, um, things. Snacks. Um, most of them are sweet um, and um, some of them are candy actually. So. Some of them I have tried before, some, most of them I have not. So it's going to be very interesting trying them, and I may say, pronounce the ones that are in, um, like, kanji wrong, or if I can't read it, then I'm sorry, but I'll do my best. So, let's start with something that I am very familiar with. Pocky. So, Pocky, in Japan apparently they call it Pokey, because that's how they pronounce it, but Pocky is very popular in Japan, and is also, um, Ba a lot of people know about Pocky in the United States, so it's not like it's a secret or anything, but it's so good. Um, strawberry is actually probably one of my least favorite ones, actually because I like matcha, um, because it's a really strong green tea flavor, but um, I just wanted to show you how to open it more specifically, and hopefully in another video I'm going to show you a ton of different kinds of Pocky, because there are tons, and I went around going to like five different Asian stores, and I found about 20 myself, and I know there's tons more, so, and like stuff seasonal and whatnot, so I'm just going to show you how to open it, so this is Paki, um, it's um, from Japan, I'm pretty sure, okay, product of Thailand, but, um, I think that's where it's made, but Japan is the one that seems to be big marketing it, so, I say it's from Japan, because, I don't know, that's where, no, from, um, if you don't know, there's always a little tab in front you rip open, you don't open this, that's wrong. And there's little slots on the sides that you go break off and open like this. And there's always, in a little bag, this one has strawberries on it. Okay, so let's just open it up. Oh gosh. And there's probably about 20 little sticks in here. And pretty much they all look like this. They're a biscuit with some sort of flavor on it. This is strawberry. So, I like strawberry. Not too bad. I don't like strawberry that much. I love the chocolate one. And the chocolate one's more dark chocolate. Um, but it's still pretty addictive. Yeah. Okay, next one. Go on. Oh! Next one we're gonna go on to is this one. Botan. Botan rice candy. I'm pretty sure this is Chinese. Um, let's see, we're so good Um, product of Japan. Actually, this is Japanese. I didn't know this was Japanese. I thought it was Chinese. And I love these because they're cute. The boxes, they're not very much. They're like $1.99. Um, but they come with stickers. And the stickers are adorable. And I want Mr. Bart to take the sticker out of this one. Here's the candy. I twist it. And then you see it's covered in rice paper. I, when I was little, my mom used to get this for me, and I didn't know what the, heck the rice paper was. Yeah. It was a little gummy at first. I mean, not gummy, but like, I wasn't quite like break apart. But it's good. I didn't like it when I was younger. And so I used to try peeling them off all the way, but it doesn't come off all the way. But you just eat it, and it's gummy, and it's light to pink. They're chewy. I just want to. I have a song stuck in my head, and it's Downtown by Macklemore, and I've been listening to it. It's from the radio ever because when he shot the music video for it, that came out a couple days ago, it was in Spokane. And I live in Spokane, so like, when I was watching the video, I was like, these places look really familiar. Like, all these, like, different areas in the city. I'm like, oh, but I'm Spokane, yeah. So Brantley came here a couple weeks ago and shot the video. And I was like, whoa, I don't even know. But I was working, of course, so figures. Um, but it's super cool. And so I, I have this song, like, stuck in my head now. But, okay, back to candy. 
Putin rice candy. Um, kind of stirring your teeth a little bit sometimes. Um, but I like it. It's good. Um, it doesn't really have much flavor to it. Maybe a little rice flavor to it. But other than that, nothing really. I just like them. They're cute. Next thing. Let's go on. So the next thing I have to try is <coughs> this. These are like I think it's almond. Just some sort of crackers that you like. I think you have with tea or something. I got this from my Japanese friend, and it says uh, furo. I think it's like weird. Leave it. Furo. Ta. Like, let me know if you like them and I'll them send you more. I was like, yeah. I like how you friends Japan because I love Japanese food in general. And so they're like, what do you want me to send you? I was like, whatever. There's this candy um, that I got and I um, I have a wrapper somewhere. But it's called Black Thunder, which is a weird name for candy. But I, I can't even remember exactly what it is, but it's like chocolate and like a little like nuggety or something. And it's just like the best candy you've ever had. Oh, so I asked her to bring me some of that, and I'm really excited for her. If, I'm hoping she sends me some if she remembers, but, um, not. I'm sure I run it online, but. Okay, so these, there's four of them. They all seem to normally have the chip things, the corners in them. And then, I think they're peanut, never mind. Yeah, they smell like peanuts, but there's like a circle, like, naturally in it. That's like a best food. Oh, it's a lot crunchier than I thought it'd be. Mm, peanut. Mm, I can definitely imagine. I know why she said to like have this with tea or whatever. Because they're pretty hard. You want to like soak them in tea? Mm, that's pretty good. I like them. I probably would like it if it was almonds instead of peanuts. But, oh, go. I like it. Oh, next thing. Okay, so this thing that I have here is very similar to the one I just ate. I don't know, but as you can see, you know where the break is, it's a weird shape. It like cuts in here and then goes down. And that's how it's apparently supposed to be. And on the cover it has the bridge. And there's a lot of running in them in Japanese. And, and as you can see, it's broken. And the piece is broken. But that's because it's supposed to be. My friend said these were, um, they're supposed to represent, um, like shingles on a roof. And so you're supposed to, I don't know what this means is, but she just said there's shingles on a roof. And that's why it's a weird shape. And you're supposed to break it. And so let me break it up a bit more. This is my broken into two pieces. darker color than the other one, and they have writing, writing on it too. I don't know what this said, but I can see the package, but the top part looks like the kanji for rice field. I feel like it's a part of it, so if it has a bottom part, then it's man. But it smells kind of burnt, because it looks a little burnt on the back too. Really hard. Okay, next thing, um, let's go 
or something. Okay, so this, what I know is this is a little like rice, rice cake thingy. Thing. I got a couple of them. Um, but they have this little dude on it who's like, the thing I love about like Japanese stuff is, I mean, <coughs> with their advertising, it doesn't matter if it's food, if it's for um, a like electricity company, they have like, ha oh, seems like all of them have their own characters. What do they keep this man? smell to it. Mmm! Oh! This is like, um, in, I don't know, it's not Chex Mix, but it's, you know, kind of like Chex Mix, but it has those, like, different things you can get at Costco. And it has tiny, little, oval shaped, kind of like this, but a lot smaller things, and that's what these are. This should be a rice cake. What? A little bit of seasoning on it, I think it's salt. Something else. I don't know, but it's really good. Mmm, these are really good. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Super good. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> That's really my only savory thing. I didn't know if those other those crackers were gonna be um, savory salty, but yeah. Anyway, next is. <coughs> Yan Yan. I don't know where Yan Yan is from. Let me check. Mm. Singapore. Product of Singapore. Look inside for fun words. This seems kind of like Pocky. Uh, except for they're they seem thicker. And you dip it yourself. It seems like a do-it-yourself thing. Oh, so there's words on it. But only on one side. I don't know if you can read that. And then in the container, one side is a stick. Softer than that would be. Uh, it looks a lot more soupy here. Mmm, sounds good. It's chocolate and a biscuit. So it's like having Nutella without the hazelnut flavor. And just like the pocky stick, but thicker. Oh. Well, the same company, Magia. So I'm guessing it's from Singapore also. Yep. Product of Singapore. It's Hello Panda. I love Hello Panda. This is like the original flavor where it's like a biscuit, regular biscuit, and then chocolate on the inside. <coughs> the other thing I love about Panda, Hello Panda, <coughs> is that each one has a different picture on it. Um, of this little cute panda doing something. There, this column says strawberry, and then there's chocolate, chocolate. So it's um, chocolate and chocolate biscuit, and then a chocolate filling. I haven't tried the strawberry or the chocolate, chocolate. I've only had this kind, but I love this. Okay. Ah, so. Super adorable. I've actually seen these where they're koalas. First time, our little round balls. Just want to play tennis. Now there's our the shape of a head. I mean, always a bear head. Oh yeah. But we all have them doing some sort of different sporty activity. This one's playing golf. This one's playing soccer. This one's windsurfing. This one's boxing. Super cute. I love it. But. Let me show you the inside. Cause it's not like completely chocolate filled. You can see the hole. It's either the back or the front. But I put the chocolate in. There's the inside. So good. One more. 
Mmm, so good. I love them. You can get Hello Panda in pretty much any Asian market that I've ever been to. I'll just go once around my area. And I have like five or six of them. Okay. So, next there are these little candies that I got from one of my friends. And I don't know what they are. I just know they're hard candies. And they come in different flavors. Like, there's green apple. There's um, leche, grape, and lemon. And I have at least one of each. So I'm going to try one of each of them. So let's start with lemon. Because lemon is probably my least favorite. Like, I, I don't like lemon cake or anything. Oh, they're very, they're like translucent. You can see through it. They look like cough drops almost. <coughs> A very hard candy. I'm not gonna crunch it. Mm. Very nice lemon flavor. Just lemon flavor. I'll be on the next one because I don't have time to eat all these. Ah. It's not too bad. It's a good flavor. Nice lemon. Not like overpowering. Okay, go to grape. I love grape. Grape is so yummy. Especially when it's, it, this is, um, I think it's Concord grape is what it's called. But it's a nice purple grape. Ooh, and it's a nice pinkish purple color. It's, I mean, leech, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to call leech just because of how I first heard it. And I had it in um, Honduras. It's white. Mm -hmm. Tastes like leeches. If you don't know what leech tastes like, it's hard to explain what this flavor is. But because the inside of leeches, uh, the outside is red. And sometimes it's spiky, it's just bright red. And then you open it up, and there's this white round ball that looks kind of like creamy, milky, like on the inside. But it's a little slimy, so it's a little weird. But you like kind of bite into it, and it's really good. You kind of like have to slurp it too. But it's a very distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Not in my area. Because you can't like bring fruit, whatever, because of disease and whatnot. Ugh. No fun at all. Okay. Let's go to Green Apple. I love Green Apple flavors. You can never go wrong with Green Apple flavor. It's like one flavoring that like can never be foiled. No matter what. I forgot. S O Y U. So let me do it. Not then. I don't know what to say. Mmm. I also hold on this green apple. The next thing. Okay, so this next thing is a very it, this is like a very colorful package. Oh, there's something on it. Um I think it's for like a TV show, like the characters are advertising for a TV show. Because on the top it says, watch, Yokai. Delusion Wonder is apparently what this top part says. Delusion Wonder, and I don't know what this says, but apparently it's for a show or a game because there's cards in the back. I'm gonna take out this grape. Well, okay, that's right. And I think there's something here. Is there sticky tack stuff? But I got it like this. Just open it up. Just a cute, very shiny package. So they're just a bunch of different packages with little characters on them. Um, probably from this TV show. I mean, Digimon and Pokemon. They're probably some sort of creatures like that. And so they seem to have their own empowerment. <coughs> Here's them on the cover. Um, so let's just try this. Woo! They 
look like lightsabers. Great. Nothing. Yeah. I think they're just lightsabers. Uh huh. Oh, I guess there's like some code you can put in for the um, thing. But, yeah. This is the flavor on the side. It's a grape. I guess the whole bag is grape. Yeah, it's just a grape bag. Oh, that's grape! Uh, get it. Um, anyway. Um, so thank you for watching this episode. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about my video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, where I try different, um, Asian candies. They don't have to be Asian or Japanese. They can be anything, snacks, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, you can always feel free to send me stuff. Let me know if you need, um, and not just for that. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye!